Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. I just had issues looking at my dirty counter. Um, it is Sunday, and the reason I know it's Sunday is because my friends left very early this morning. I believe they are actually home already. Uh, God, they were like getting up at 5 o'clock. Poor Kelly and Aubrey. They came up here for the... Um, Miami Notre Dame game, which sadly Miami apparently got beat. Um, cheers to you, Miami people, anyway. Not only because Miami is my favorite city in the country, but also because I despise Notre Dame. Sorry for anybody that's watching my vlog that is a Notre Dame fan, but from my experience and the experience of many people I know, Notre Dame graduates and fans are a little what I'd call. Oh, how do I say this? Um, obnoxious. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, I'm getting ready to get my sweat on very soon. So I'm going to take my branch chain amino acids. Somebody, was it Mike Roussel that was telling me? I'm like, I don't know how to say it. Cool. And he said, just say branch chain amino acids. I don't think anybody calls them BCAAs. Whatever. And incidentally, you're going to be seeing a lot more from Dr. Mike um, on Fitfluential. Um, and he's helping me because I told you all, you know, one of the, the main... God, I hate this. It just got... Good Lord. Um, it, uh, I, I just hate how when you take these, a lot of these, you know how obsessively clean I am. And... Um, it's, it gets all over the counter. But anyway, back to Dr. Mike. He is telling me exactly, he kind of took my list of supplements and asked me to list out for him all of the stuff that I'm taking. And then he's like, uh, you're not taking enough of this. You're not taking, you're taking too much of this. You're not taking this at the right time. And again, I've told you guys, you know, I think so many of us, if you're like me, um, number one, if you're not reaching your goals, then you've got to, really get a plan. You can't just have your plan in your head. You can't just have this idea, yeah, I want to do more cardio this week. Yeah, I want to really watch what I'm eating. If you're really serious about getting where you're, you want to go, and especially if you're somebody um, who has, you know, look at me. I can say that it's been, you know, I spent two years yo-yo dieting and trying everything on the planet after I went into perimenopause. And you know, none of that worked. I just stayed exactly at the same place. I, I really stayed at, you know, and now I'm, I've made a lot of progress this year, but let's be honest, it's October, beginning of October. So we're heading into the fourth quarter and I haven't reached my goal. Now I very could have reached my goal this year, but it's very easy for me to look back and go, hmm, okay, did a lot of great stuff, but what didn't I do? There's so much that I'm like, how much was I working out in this month or this month? When I've done the best is when I've told you guys, number one, there was a huge level of accountability and tracking on a daily basis. Back earlier in this year when I did the uh, commitment and I said I was going to blog every single day and record what I was doing every day so that I could, even if it was a 15 minute blast of a workout, you know, circuit in my hotel room or whatever, I would do something every day. If it was walking lunges and jumping jacks in place, you know, if I didn't feel like or I didn't think I could fit something in and I had to do it at 10 o'clock at night, it was going to get me back into the habit of consistent working out because it is very easy for me um, to reflect, to look back over the past two years and see that there was a lot of talk and a lot of up and down and trying different things and, you know, starting over and then, you know, planning out, doing a lot of planning, writing out what recipes I'm going to try, writing out what workouts I'm going to do, and then not executing. What good is a plan if you just do all the, if you keep buying books and magazines and research and spending a lot of time talking about what you're going to do and you don't do it. You don't buy the supplements. You don't buy the food. You don't make the recipes. And you're not working out because you're too busy spending time planning what you're going to do. And then two days goes by and then a week goes by because then, oh, well, you know, I don't want to start on Friday. I'm going to start on Monday. Baloney. First. Random observation. I've noticed that all of these drinks like, you know, this, like glutamine, um, 
glutamine, like the um, Genetics HD, they're always in like fruit punchy flavors. And protein shakes are always in like chocolate or cinnamon or... You never have a protein shake that's flavored like a juice. You see what I'm saying? Totally random. There's absolutely no point to me sharing that, but it's pretty much everything I say in all of my vlogs is like that. So anyway, back to what I was saying about supplements. <laughs> Ooh, bring it back in, Kelly. Um, Dr. Mike asked me to list out all of my supplements, you know, because he and he and Joe and Valerie, so like my trifecta of Kelly, stop it, get back over here. I've got like three of the best people on the planet. Val is my, um, she's like my my girl, my my coach. She's who runs stuff, and then I've got the, you know, the two boys behind me. That sounded wrong. Um, Dr. Mike and Joe, who are like, what are you doing? And <laughs> none of these people are into being a yes man with me. None of these people are into like, oh no, whatever you're doing is fine. Sure, that's great, Kelly. Especially when, if I ask them what my hair look, looks like right now, they'd probably go, are you kidding me? I am getting ready to work out. And I'd love to know. <laughs> like, there. That oh, looks like I'm going kind of stupid. Anyway, um, so Dr. Mike has made me a list of, there we go, that's not that bad. There, I'm not busting out as much. I'm going to get a bunch of emails from you guys going, why do you zip up your clothes? So he has, I, I now have every single day a plan of when it is optimal for me to take you know, my physio burn, my genetics HD. In fact, what he told me about my genetics HD stuff, I told him that I don't do well. So the genetics HD stuff that I've been taking, um, there is the ProSculpt that I take in the morning. The physio burn is the packet of pills that I've been taking at dinner once. And then there's the, uh, is it, what's the other one? It's the pills that you supposedly take on an empty stomach, that if I take on an empty stomach for my workout, my entire workout, I'm like, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know if it's the empty stomach thing or whatever. I don't think it's the pills. I think it's the empty stomach philosophy. Um, but anyway, he told me, stick with my uh, ProSculpt in the morning, and then I need to be taking two packets of the pills. He's like, I actually read the... Um, you know, white paper that comes with it. And he goes, you really should be taking two of the pills, which is muy interesante because, first of all, I did not read any literature that came with it. And second of, secondly, I didn't know I was supposed to be taking two. But anyway, he's mapped out everything I'm taking. He told me to cut the uh, Trader Joe's stuff I was taking, which is the um, zinc, magnesium, calcium thing because apparently I'm getting enough calcium over here. So all that to say, he analyzed everything that I'm going to be taking, that I've been taking, cut stuff, changed it around to when I'm taking it so it's optimally effective. So it actually has a purpose. And Dr. Mike kind of knows what he's talking about. Um, you're also going to hear a lot more about, about and from Dr. Mike. You'll be able to get to ask him questions via Fitflential. We are going to be launching a lot of cool stuff on our YouTube channel. Um, so I got that from Dr. Mike. Val is, um, you know, I, I can you know, obviously talk to her and I said, I've really got to get back where I'm doing a program. Um, because I started, you guys saw me, I was getting scatterbrained again. Oh, I'll do CrossFit, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do yoga, and I'm gonna do all of it. And then I end up doing all running. <laughs> and I'm just over that. I really have not been doing my weights um, as much and I feel it. I just feel fluffy. I don't like that. I'm all about. Um, it's time to get back in the gym. And my, my new focus, um, I really, and I told Val this, I said I really want to edit. If I'm going to do BBX for a while, like that circuit, I want to take it and have her edit, edit it for me um, and customize it more for the gym. And she's like, oh, Kelly, I can do that all day. We tried to make it convenient for people that want to work out at home. But she's going to edit it so that I can be working out at Lifetime. Um, because my new focus is getting up in the morning, my door when I finish, and I'm doing this, you guys, I'm doing it because I talked about it earlier in the year and I think we all know what's happening. I'm going into my, I'm going into my gym. I'm going into my office and I'm, it's a time suck. I'm just in there all day. I end up not eating. I end up not grocery shopping. Um, I'm eating at odd times in the day and I'm not getting my workouts done and I'm not taking enough time for me. I mean, when Kelly was here this weekend and she saw, 
I have a stack of magazines that I haven't read from my mailbox this big because I don't make time to even just sit down and read a magazine. I don't make time to read books because I, sh I work until like the second the sun goes down, not the second the sun goes down because that's early now. Um, but all that said, I, I'm going to close my office at night when I go to watch my crime show. I'm such a loser. And I'm not going to start going in there and checking emails and doing all that crap until I have gone to the gym, you know, done my workout, come home, you know, whether I do this before or after, but had my quiet time, said my prayers, had some meditation time, and, and chilled out. The more that I've gotten organized in my office, and I've got this huge whiteboard in there, people, it's awesome. I realized that I've built up a lot of things in my head. It doesn't take me as long to do the tasks that I put off as I think, but I just overestimate, oh, I have so much to do, it's gonna take me so long, and then I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, because I'm a procrastinator. And then I go to do it and I'm like, wow, that didn't take too long. Let me belt out a few other proposals. Let me belt out a few more. It's like, wait, I just did a lot today. And then I can give myself time to go outside, go for a walk, go in and go to the gym for two hours. I, des I deserve two hours. If I'm gonna be up uh, 16 hours a day, I deserve to give myself two hours, a minimum, because the more that I'm effective on the hours that I am working, I don't need to take all 16 hours for my work. I thought I was at 15 minutes, but I'm only at 11, so now I can go ramble on for nine more minutes if I wanted to. I won't do that to you. I probably will, but. Um, so, this is the week that it starts. Um, I am going to be back on a program, and trust me, Valerie and Joe and Dr. Mike will all be like, uh, what's up with that? Like, they're watching me like a hawk. Speaking of a hawk, I didn't even mean to segue into that, but if you saw my Facebook page, um, it was so bizarre, especially after I looked up the meaning behind this. But you know, my um, my porch, my deck is right out here, and that's where I go. I have my morning coffee, da 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 da, and it's really beautiful and peaceful out back here because I don't have like another house like at my old place, where if, if this was the window, I'd probably be looking at my neighbor and his seven wives outside. Um, but it's just this beautiful wetlands out there. But last week, whatever it was, I think it was last week, there were a couple times I was sitting out there and I noticed this hawk was coming to this tree right here in front of me. And the reason I noticed it was regular birds are this big, a hawk is like this big. It can't even fit in this space here. And it came on this tree and it was like making the tree, the branches go like this. So I'm sitting there with my coffee going, damn, what is he doing on that thing? Is there, is he gonna eat a rabbit in front of me or something? And you know, I'm trying to sit still. I wanted to take a picture. But all that to say, he was on a branch that he really was probably not comfortable on. And so I noticed that a couple of times. And then this weekend, especially the past two days, which is why I had my camera out here even more, uh, that hawk was back on my porch. It was sitting on my chair, looking in my window. Then it was on my bird feeder. And again, my bird feeders are made for little, tiny little birds, chickadees. And it, the, the, the one wire bird feeder was going <laughs> like it had the hawk on it. And Kelly was sitting here with me and we turned around and I'm like, that thing is gonna fall down. And I said, that hawk gets on my bird feeder. I'm gonna kick its ass because it's bigger you know, my bird feeder's like this big. The hawk was like this big. So then it was staring at us there. Then it was on my baker's rack here. Then it came back and it was on my um, on my chair. And it was on the phone with uh, my, uh, my literary agent. And I told her, I'm like, I have to go. I've got to get a picture. There's this hawk on my porch. And she's like, oh, Kelly, oh my God. Do you know what that means in Indian folklore? Blah, blah, blah. And she goes, that's a, that's a sign from God or whatever. And, you know, I kind of thought, really? But then, of course, I Googled it. And apparently, if a hawk either starts following you or shows up in your life in that manner, it's, it's not normal. Neither am I. Um, but it's supposed to mean, you know, if you believe in signs or whatever, it's supposed to be something good. It's supposed to be like that God is speaking to you and that it's, a, it's supposed to be a, an indicator of good things to come. So um, that was pretty cool. What was I saying before that? No idea. But I am getting ready to do a workout. I've got my um, 
getting proactive with my supplementation so I know what else to take, when. That's being mapped out with the kind advice of Dr. Mike. Um, and then I am getting myself back on an actual plan. So I don't just, you know, go into the week and go, what do I feel like doing today? And, you know, I get up on Monday and then, oh, I end up getting busy, so then I'll work out later at night. I really don't even know what I'm going to do. I just get in my workout clothes and then I go with what I feel like. Well, then it gets to be the end of the week and it's like, hmm. So I've gone running three times. I did kickboxing and then I did some core. Oh, crap. Yeah, no. Um, and I just feel my body's missing weights, my body's missing yoga, I've got to have a planned system. And, and that means that it'll be my circuits, my cardio, and then I can add in my yoga as like extras. Um, but just to have a plan. I've got to have a plan. I've mapped out the weight that I want to lose, I've mapped out my measurements on a spreadsheet, um, and I, I have the goal of losing um, two pounds a week before X, a certain amount of time and I have it mapped out um, exactly what I'm supposed to be eating, what my supplements are, so that I can hit my goal weight by the end of the year. There's absolutely no reason. I have more than enough time to hit my goal weight by the end of the year, um, and that's what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna measure it every week instead of starting to measure it and then getting six or seven weeks into it going, oh, I haven't really checked, and then, oh, I was going on that trip, and oh, well, this week was bad, and I forgot to pack. It's like, uh-uh, no, it's on. So I am doing what I've never done before. I haven't done this all year. I have not put everything on paper. I've talked about putting things on paper. I've started to write out my, um, my journal, but you know what? If you fail to plan, plan to fail. And if you're not getting um, you know, the results that you want, then what is it that you're not doing? Figure it out and then amp it up. Don't just talk about amping it up. And that's what I've been doing is a little way too much planning and talking about planning as opposed to just doing it. And now I know that's all there is to it. I mean, like, I am not going to not do it. Um, sorry, I thought, I thought the hawk was back. So um, I'm going to go get my sweat on and um, hopefully my hawk will come back and I will capture it on video so you guys can see it. But golly, how did I get up to 17 minutes in a second? I gotta go, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good Sunday. And um, oh, by the way, thank you all for your um, emails and comments and uh, stuff about my parents, I appreciate it. They are in very good psyched up spirits and we are going to um, hit it head on and certainly, you know, learn stuff. I think he's getting ready to attack my bird feeder. I need to go out, it's war. This little thing pisses me off. And I used to love squirrels. I have to go. Stop it!